Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shadows. A lot of people have been asking me to make a tutorial or a review on this mod. The reason why I didn't really plan on intending to make a tutorial was because not everybody could actually install this mod. There's a handful of people who can't really install this mod. I usually show tutorials um, hoping that you could all install mods correctly, but this is one of the reasons why I didn't really plan on um, showing a tutorial on how to install Sonic Ethers was because there's a handful of people who really can't install this mod like I said but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and see if you guys actually could install this now if you notice there's like a um, jungle biome over there I just downloaded this awesome world and if you like this world links in description go ahead and get it and download it. it's a really nice map but if you guys don't know what Sonic Ethers unbelievable shadow is just think of it as a really nice shaders where um, everything looks so nice and looks really beautiful like everything about it is just so awesome. And yes, if you guys know who Bashcraft is, they actually do use it on their videos. But always remember that you need at least a decent computer to actually handle this. If you notice on my Optifine review, I was running at about 100 and something FPS, but now if I press F3, you're going to notice that it's not at 100 FPS anymore. I'm starting to get the lag spikes. My FPS is now at 41. When you first install this mod, it might ruin the feeling of uh, Minecraft for you. All these new shadows and all these wavy uh, grass and all this stuff might actually ruin the feeling. I'm not sure if it will. Maybe it'll make your Minecraft experience like 30 times better. I'm not sure. But let me go ahead and show off that building a little bit more with a little bit more music. And then we're going to switch to the tutorial. And hopefully you guys can install this correctly. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we could all hopefully install this mod correctly. The first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing this mod is to go here to Options and Force Update and Game. The reason why I'm going to Force Update and Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shadows is compatible with any of your mods or Optifine Smooth. We are going to install Optifine Smooth. The reason why is because the form creator did say it will increase your FPS. So let's go ahead and install that as well. This is most recommended, so let's go ahead and install them both. But I'm on Options, Force Update, and Login. I did have a lot of mods, and I did lose them all because I installed Sonic Ethers. So back up your mods if it's necessary. So I'm going to leave this updating, and you're going to go ahead and go into my description. It's going to take you to my website, and you're going to go ahead and download Optifine and Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shadows. You're going to download them and drag them here to the desktop in which you can see them better. Go ahead and get the downloads and drag it here. Once you have the downloads here, let's go ahead and install Optifine. We're going to go here to start. Search your program file. I'm going to type in percent app data percent and for windows xp users you should see here run and you run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on that roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft in the very top you can go into your dot minecraft folder you can see bin resources saved and everything else go into your bin folder before you open up your minecraft dot jar and start modding it you have to double check that you have your minecraft game closed you have to exit off your minecraft game before installing any mod so exit off your minecraft game now you are going to right click your minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder open with winrar or any 7-zip opener so you're going to open up your minecraft.jar with winrar 
So open that up and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete MetaInf. You have to delete MetaInf. So right click MetaInf and delete files, say yes, and delete MetaInf. Now MetaInf's gone, now we can continue. Open up Optifine, double click Optifine, move it aside. This is Optifine Smooth, by the way, and go ahead and highlight all these class files and simply drag it all into the Minecraft thought jar side. Wait a little bit, add and replace, press OK, and you can go ahead and exit off the Minecraft.jar and Optifine. And the bin, doesn't really matter, you can exit off everything already. So what you're going to do is, now you're going to open up the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shadows. Double click that, move it aside, you're going to see a folder in here. Okay, you're going to drag that folder here to the desktop. Okay, and this is for Windows, and there is a Linux and Mac download, so if you're on Mac, go ahead and download that one as well. Um, or any other operating system but if you're on Windows go ahead and get the one that I have in, in uh, my website I will have both downloads there so just go ahead and mess with that make sure you get the Windows one if you are Windows so you're gonna open up the Sonic Ethers uh, move that aside it's gonna be a folder and it's gonna have an installer double click that installer it's gonna ask if you wanna run it say yes wait a little bit and here we go so this is the installer right here you're gonna install the mods right here click that button and it's gonna start analyzing and unpacking the jar and installing the shaders and there we go, installation complete. Go ahead and exit that off and exit off everything else. Well, and now go ahead and run Minecraft. If you get a black screen or if you get a blue screen, then um, you probably have a texture pack already on. If you best understand me, make sure you don't have texture packs on when you're um, installing any of these mods. Because let's say you had um, LB photorealism and let's say Sonic Ether shaders didn't really go quite as well with that. Make sure you're on default Minecraft. No matter what, it's going to work on default Minecraft. So we'll just leave it on default Minecraft. You could test it out with all your other texture packs. It does work fine with all these other ones. But for your first time, just start off with default just to double check to see if it works. It does work on multiplayer, works on single player. Let's go ahead and go on to multiplayer and see if it works. I'm going to go on to my server. And let's go ahead and check this out. It did work. It looks beautiful. And there's a lot of people talking. A lot of people are saying hello. And this is it. I'm going to go ahead and press F1 to hide the chat. And this is uh, Sonic Ethers right here. Let me go ahead and press F3 to show you that Optifine is installed. If you notice right here, it says Optifine. So it did install. My FPS doesn't seem to be dropping, but um, I'm not really lagging as much. I'm just playing. It's really awesome. So yeah, hopefully this all works very well with you guys. I'm sorry if you get a blue screen or I'm sorry if this doesn't really work for your computer. Uh, but please don't blame me if this doesn't end up working on your computer. It's not really my fault if it doesn't really work on your computer. All I'm really trying to show you is how to install it if it does work on your computer. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this if it does work for you. It might be extremely laggy. I'm not quite too sure how it's going to work out for you guys. Alright, so that's basically it. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, uh, maybe it's your graphics card settings or you probably need to initiate more RAM into your uh, Minecraft game. But I'm pretty sure it's just the graphics card because on my old computer, I always had the same issues. I got blue screens and black screens and I tried to change up the graphics card, but I didn't really have a nice graphics card. So yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for supporting me. You guys are awesome. See you around.